Hearing these two voices, Zhou Siken immediately took their bets. The other students had bet a total of around 2,000 gold soul coins, yet Wang Dong and Xiao Xiao alone had just equaled that. In other words, he wouldn't have to pay out of pocket if Hui Yuhao lost. On the whole, a crisis had been averted. We'll bet 50 gold soul coins on Hui Yuhao. Two crisp voices rang out simultaneously, jolting Zhou Siken. There were actually still more people who dared to bet on Hui Yuhao. After looking carefully, he realized that the two people betting on Hui Yuhao were actually the Lan sisters. The sisters smiled at Wang Dong, then took out a total of 50 gold soul coins. I'll bet 50 as well. Another voice rang out. This time, Zhou Siken was somewhat flabbergasted. The person who'd placed a bet this time was actually his good brother, Chao Jinxian. During their match with Hui Yuhao's team, Kai Jinxian hadn't even been able to even release a soul skill before he'd been knocked out by Hui Yuhao and Wang Dong's combined spiritual shock. Jinxian, what are you doing? Zhou Siken asked suspiciously. Chao Jinxian smiled cunningly. I know that a fellow like you has a lot of money, why can't I bet on an unknown gamble? Still somewhat suspicious, Zhou Siken replied, that can't be right. You've never done something that doesn't profit you, nor have you done something that you're unsure of. Chao Jinxian replied in an easygoing manner, that's not your problem. Besides, I'm only betting 50 gold soul coins. That isn't too cruel. However, let me remind you, if Hui Yuhao does win, you'll go bankrupt. With odds of 1 to 10, you'll have to pay out 21,000 gold soul coins for these 2,100 gold soul coins. Do you even have that much money? Uh, cold sweat immediately began to drip off of Zhou Sichen's face when he heard Chao Jinxian. Right. In the extremely unlikely chance that Hui Yuhao managed to win, what would he do? Wang Dong and Xiao Xiao had each bet 1,000 gold soul coins. That, multiplied by 10, was an astronomical figure to him. Wang Dong, Xiao Xiao, can you guys lower your bets a bit? Zhou Siken had previously hoped that Hui Yuhao would cause an upset. However, his current attitude had completely flipped around. Wang Dong replied, You said that you were willing to accept any bets, no matter how high they were. I'm confident in Hui Yuhao, and I'm not afraid of losing. What are you afraid of? With that, both he and Xiao Xiao turned around and found a place to sit. Seeing their backs, Zhou Siken mumbled unhappily, Humph, let's see how you start crying after you lose. It'd be weird if Hui Yuhao really was able to beat Wu Feng with such a large gap between them. Still, I've really dug a hole for myself with the odds I've set. If I'd known people would make such large bets earlier, I would've taken it easier, so as to guarantee that I'd still make a slight profit. Kai Jinxian patted him on the shoulder and replied in a sincere voice, being impulsive truly is the devil. As the spectating stage continued to buzz with activity, Hui Yuhao and Wu Feng proceeded to enter the soul dueling arena. For the sake of safety, Wang Yan was personally acting as the referee for their match. After entering the arena, Wang Yan said solemnly, I'll once again remind you that this is merely a sparring session between fellow classmates, so although you can go all out, you absolutely cannot injure your opponent. Do you understand? Once one party gains an upper hand in the match, I'll stop it immediately. Both Hui Yuhao and Wu Feng nodded at the same time. However, Wu Feng said offhandedly, Teacher Wang, doesn't that mean that you'll have to stop the match after only a few seconds? After saying that, she turned around and walked towards her side of the arena. Wu Feng hadn't even turned 12, yet she'd clearly developed much faster than other girls her age. This was exemplified by her extremely tall figure. Furthermore, her feminine traits were very obvious, this was especially so for her fiery red hair, which had a peculiar beauty to it. Only, her tomboyish personality, which caused her to be even rowdier than boys, was clearly somewhat disharmonious with her beauty. As Hui Yuhao slowly walked towards the other side of the arena, Wang Yan whispered, Try your best, but don't force yourself. Sometimes, patience is a form of strength. Hui Yuhao could see how concerned Wang Yan was for him. After nodding to him, he slowly moved backwards. He understood Wang Yan's good intentions, but he'd already decided not to spare any costs when he fought against Wu Feng. He had no intentions of backing down. Both sides were quickly separated by a distance of a hundred meters. Wang Yan stood in the middle of the arena with his arms spread out. After ensuring that both parties had finished making their preparations, he suddenly raised his hands and shouted, Begin. Wu Feng moved instantly. Her red hair fluttered in the wind, resembling a red cloud as she charged towards Hui Yuhao at full speed. Her slender yet forceful legs caused her body to rapidly shoot forwards whenever her feet touched the ground, 
and in the blink of an eye, she'd already traversed several tens of meters. As her tender body rushed forward, dragon scales began to cover half of her body. Though they were still a good distance away from each other, yet Hui Yuhao was already able to sense the valiant air coming off of her body. Surprisingly, Hui Yuhao didn't move at all. Instead, he simply shut his eyes and stood there, making it seem as if he was meditating while standing up. The spectator's stage had become completely silent, everyone's eyes were currently focused on the soul dueling arena. Naturally, the most attentive students were Wang Dong, Xiao Xiao, and Zhou Sikhen. Likewise, Chao Jinxian was also looking concentratedly at the arena. However, he wasn't following Wu Feng like many people were. Instead, he'd fixed his eyes on Hu Yu Hao, and was observing his every move. It was just as Zhou Sikhen had guessed, Chao Jinxian placing a bet on Hu Yu Hao hadn't been a moment of impulsiveness, nor had it been because he was trying to obtain a large profit. Rather, he had his own motives for doing so. The true core of Zhou Sichen's team was actually Chao Jinxian. His time elapsing clock was an extremely rare control type tool soul that had the ability to control time. Chao Jinxian had contributed the most during their arduous journey to the top four. As an outstanding control type soul master himself, Chao Jinxian had a much greater understanding towards the similarly control type Hu Yuhao. During their match that time, he'd instantly been knocked unconscious without even being able to use a soul skill. Many people had assumed that it was the work of Wang Dong, but Chao Jinxian was fully aware that it had been a spiritual type attack. Even though he'd had Wang Dong's assistance, the truth was that it had still been Hu Yuhao's attack. More importantly, he'd even been specifically guarding against a long-range attack like this. The time surrounding his body had been slightly distorted, which was extremely hard to see with the naked eye. Because of this, he hadn't been afraid of long-distance single-target attacks. However, even though his time elapsing clock was able to distort time, it wasn't able to distort Hui Yuhao's spiritual detection. Once Hui Yuhao's attack had landed, Chao Jinxian didn't have the chance to do anything at all. This had greatly increased Chao Jinxuan's interest towards Hui Yuhao. Chao Jinxian was someone who had a strong desire for knowledge. He really wanted to know how Hui Yuhao had been able to do what he'd done. After all, Hui Yuhao only had a 10-year soul ring. Could his soul skill be used in two different ways? Or did his soul skill have two different effects? With its detection and attacking abilities, could that still even be considered a 10-year soul ring? Only 100,000-year soul rings could have two skills. Because of that, even though everyone else believed that Hui Yuhao would definitely lose to Wu Feng, Chao Jinxian had a certain amount of confidence in him. This confidence was even stronger than that of even Wang Dong and Xiao Zhao's. Sometimes, a person's rivals can understand them more than their teammates. The distance between the two parties gradually decreased. Facing the motionless Hui Yuhao, Wu Feng raised her vigilance. After all, Ning Tian had been knocked unconscious during their previous match. In their post-match research, they'd felt that the best way to protect themselves would be to gather their soul power in their heads. If they protected their spiritual seas, their opponents' attacks wouldn't be able to overcome their defenses. Because of that, Wu Feng didn't bother to use any soul skills. From her point of view, Hui Yuhao had no chance of winning in a direct competition of combat power. As long as she was wary of his spiritual shock, everything would be fine. In reality, none of the students present other than Wang Dong and Xiao Xiao were aware that Hui Yuhao's main soul skill was his spiritual detection. Currently, the distance between the two had shrunk to a mere 5 meters. Stamping the ground with her left leg, Wu Feng shot towards Hui Yuhao like a sharp arrow that had been released from a bow. At that moment, Hui Yuhao finally made a move. The instant Wu Feng moved, he shifted his feet. As a result, he was able to quickly sidestep to the left. At the same time, he sent a kick flying straight towards Wu Feng's abdomen. The instant that Wu Feng had leapt out, her arms had been raised up high, while her palms had slashed towards Hui Yuhao's shoulders. By relying on his spiritual detection, Hui Yuhao had grasped the trajectory of her movements perfectly. Because of this, Hui Yuhao had sidestepped her attack the very moment she'd begun moving. At the same time, he'd sent a kick flying towards an area that was very hard for Wu Feng to defend against. Even though she was extremely confident in herself, it was extremely uncomfortable for Wu Feng to deal with Hui Yuhao's attack. However, she wasn't willing to get kicked by Hui Yuhao. Helpless, she could only twist her body in midair in an attempt to dodge Hui Yuhao's kick. However, the fact that she was in a leaping position couldn't be changed. Unexpectedly, Hui Yuhao suddenly stopped his kick in midair, then jumped forward using his left leg. 
After jumping half a meter off the ground, he changed his right leg sweeping kick into a regular kick. This allowed him to perfectly kick Wu Feng's slightly defined and perky round buttocks. One's buttocks practically represent a person's center of gravity. If someone's buttocks were to be kicked midair, their balance would immediately be broken. Just as Wu Feng twisted her body to the side, she felt a large amount of force transmitted through her buttocks. She immediately let out an alarmed cry when this happened, and used her left hand to push against the ground in an effort to seize an opportunity to control her own body. After kicking Wu Feng's butt, Hui Yu Hao immediately used a follow-up move. Landing his right foot on the ground, he suddenly rushed towards Wu Feng. Up to this point, his eyes had remained shut. However, his perception of the outside world was far clearer than it would have been if he'd been using his eyes. As Wu Feng pressed her left hand onto the ground, the speed of her fall decreased slightly. However, Hui Yu Hao arrived at that point again. Stamping his right foot on the ground, he rushed forwards and used his left leg to strike Wu Feng's slender waist. Naturally, Wu Feng wouldn't just let him have his way with her. She hurriedly raised her left knee and angled it towards Hui Yu Hao's left leg. At the same time, she exerted some strength with her left arm, borrowing the strength of her physique to forcefully turn around and send a vicious kick towards Hui Yu Hao with her left leg. As a result of the embarrassment she was feeling, Wu Feng had put all of her strength into this kick. Even though she hadn't used a soul skill, the all-out kick of a soul grandmaster that was using her martial soul couldn't be underestimated. However, Wu Feng made another miscalculation. Hui Yu Hao suddenly pulled his left leg back mid-kick, then went down into a squat, allowing him to dodge Wu Feng's kick. Immediately afterwards, he nimbly shot forwards and firmly slapped Wu Feng's lower back with his palms. At this moment, Hui Yu Hao had no intentions of going easy on Wu Feng. His palms became jade in color as he unleashed controlling crane capturing dragon on Wu Feng. With a bang, Wu Feng was shoved more than 5 meters away from Hui Yu Hao. This time around, she couldn't maintain her balance. As a result of this, Wu Feng fell down and rolled on the ground. Hui Yu Hao's cultivation wasn't as high as Wu Feng's, but he was still someone with rank 17 soul power. He was a true soul master. His all-out controlling crane capturing dragon and mysterious jade palm had still been relatively heavy blows. Wu Feng couldn't help but shake slightly as she got up. With an awe she spat out a mouthful of blood. She'd clearly been injured. The students standing in the spectators' stage were all left flabbergasted. Before the match, who would have predicted an outcome like this? Who could have? Hui Yu Hao had actually managed to gain the upper hand. Beneath his relentless attacks, Wu Feng hadn't even had a chance to counterattack. Both Dai Hua Bin and Zhu Lu were astonished, Xiao Zhao's eyes had widened in surprise, and Zhou Sik Hen was chewing on his finger nervously. The only exception to all of this was Chao Jin Xian, who was currently staring at Hui Yu Hao with sparkling eyes. From their outer appearances, it seemed like both sides hadn't used any soul skills yet. Yet somehow, an assault-type soul master had actually lost to a control-type soul master in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Furthermore, this was with such a disparity in cultivation between the two. Wu Feng, who had the red dragon martial soul, was definitely much stronger than Hui Yu Hao in terms of physique alone. Her speed, power, and flexibility were all greater than Hui Yu Hao's. What had happened? It didn't matter that she'd been kicked in the bum, yet Hui Yu Hao's palms had sent her flying and forced her to cough up blood. Her defense had been strengthened considerably under the effects of her red dragon martial soul, yet she'd actually been forced to cough up some blood. Since when did Hui Yu Hao have the ability to do something like this? Hui Yu Hao basically hadn't participated in any direct confrontations throughout the entire freshman assessment, except for the time that he'd used the ghost shadow perplexing track against Dai Huabin's team. Because of that, his hand-to-hand -hand abilities had been entirely overlooked. Only now did everyone realize how wrong they'd been about him. This was especially so for those that weren't at the two-ringed rank yet. They couldn't help but ask themselves, if they were to fight against Hui Yu Hao in a close combat fight, could they win? Had Wu Feng's loss truly been due to carelessness alone? Wang Dong couldn't help but stare blankly. He'd thought of many ways for Hui Yu Hao to stave off Wu Feng, but he'd never considered the possibility of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Hui Yu Hao had actually decided to use his own weakness against his opponent's strong point, yet he was winning? The most astonished person present was Wu Feng herself. She hadn't expected Hui Yu Hao to fight her like this, not even in her wildest dreams. The spiritual shock she'd been constantly wary of hadn't come either, yet she'd suffered a huge loss in a close combat fight. She also felt a burning pain coming from her back. 
Huiyu Hao's palms were like two chunks of metal when they'd viciously smashed into her back. Furthermore, she'd felt two gentle forces surge through her body as soon as his palms hit her. These forces that had seeped into her body could be described as gentle, but they had seeped directly into her internal organs. Unexpectedly, Wu Feng wasn't able to remove them in a short period of time, even with her tyrannical soul power. Thus, she had had no choice but to cough up a mouthful of blood in order to slow down the progression of her injuries. However, her internal organs had still been badly shaken. Huiyu Hao's kick hadn't hurt that much, as there was a large amount of flesh on her bum. However, this had been done in front of the entirety of class 1. Furthermore, a man had never touched her buttocks before. And, as soon as he'd kicked her, a strange feeling had begun to spread throughout her buttocks, this was the main reason that she'd stumbled after getting up. Bastard, I'm going to kill you. Wu Feng roared angrily, then pounced towards Hu Yu Hao like an enraged lioness. This time around, she didn't hold anything back. She instantly activated her first soul skill, Dragon Fire. The person who had the strongest self-augmenting soul skill amongst class 1's assault-type soul masters was definitely Dai Hua Bin and his white tiger Vajra transformation. However, Wu Feng was the strongest person after Dai Hua Bin. Her Dragon Fire and Dragon Fury had extremely strong self-augmenting abilities in addition to the increase in attack power they gave her. Because of this, Wu Feng was definitely an expert in close quarters combat. If Dai Hua Bin didn't use his third soul skill, the two of them would definitely end up locked in a stalemate during a close combat fight. And yet, she'd just suffered a loss to Hu Yu Hao, and it hadn't been a small loss either. Hu Yu Hao continued to keep his eyes shut, but his expression became serious. He'd been able to injure Wu Feng in their close combat fight by catching her unaware and using of the Tang sect's secret techniques in addition to his spiritual detection's foresight. At the same time, it was also because Wu Feng hadn't used any of her soul skills yet. Wu Feng's burning dragon fire instantly scorched everything within a foot of her. Because of this, the scorching stream of air struck Hu Yu Hao in the face before she'd even arrived. Hu Yu Hao was a spiritual type soul master, thus his spirit eyes weren't able to strengthen his body in any way. He could predict all of her moves, but he wasn't able to break through Wu Feng's defensive soul skills. However, Hu Yu Hao didn't choose to retreat. He knew that he hadn't had much of a chance in the first place, and that being able to take advantage of his opponent's lack of awareness was already an extremely good result for him. However, Hui Yu Hao didn't want to admit defeat. Even if he only had a sliver of hope left, he didn't want to give up. As such, Hui Yu Hao chose not to retreat. As he withstood the high temperatures that were assaulting him, he used his ghost shadow perplexing track to rush towards Wu Feng. This time around, Wu Feng didn't choose to jump into the air. Instead, she rushed towards Hui Yu Hao on foot. The moment that Wu Feng was close enough to strike Hu Yu Hao, she stopped and sent her left hand towards Hu Yu Hao's stomach while firmly balanced. As a core disciple, even though Wu Feng had a fiery disposition, she definitely wasn't an impulsive person. After suffering a loss to Hu Yu Hao, she'd definitely pay attention to his attacks. Facing Wu Feng's palm strike, Hu Yu Hao suddenly leaned to the left and dodged her attack. Making sure not to enter the one-foot area around Wu Feng, he crouched down and sidestepped to her right side. Like a bolt of lightning, Wu Feng sent a kick flying straight towards Hu Yu Hao with her right leg. Her kicking speed was extremely fast, and her leg reached Hu Yu Hao's chest in the blink of an eye. However, at that moment, Hu Yu Hao unexpectedly slipped. He seemed to fall down, as if he'd lost control of his body. Wu Feng's kick brushed past his chest as if it were stuck to it, instantly charring the front of Hu Yu Hao's shirt. At the same time, the scorching hot temperatures from Wu Feng's dragon fire enveloped his body. Hu Yu Hao's spiritual detection wasn't omnipotent, as his physical speed couldn't follow the speed of his thoughts. He'd used up the of his energy in order to dodge Wu Feng's last attack. Wu Feng had missed, which resulted in her back being exposed to Hu Yu Hao. Whilst leaning backwards, Hu Yu Hao grabbed onto Wu Feng and enduring the the high temperatures caused by her dragon fire viciously kicked Wu Feng's back, causing her to stumble forward. However, Hu Yu Hao immediately let go after grabbing a hold of her. With her dragon fire, the temperature surrounding Wu Feng's body in a one-foot radius was simply too high. Furthermore, he'd felt that something was amiss after he'd grabbed her. He'd grabbed a hold of two extremely elastic yet firm mounds, which had instantly tightened the moment he'd touched them. However, his hands had actually bounced off them. Hu Yu Hao had only grasped hold of Wu Feng's clothes, no, it would be more accurate to say that he'd grabbed her dress. 
Hu Yuhao was dazed in that instant, and in turn had unconsciously lowered the direction of his kick. When Wu Feng stumbled forward, she unconsciously held onto her skirt. In a state of embarrassment and anger, she rapidly entered a half-squatting position after sweeping her right leg backwards. This guy, after doing such a shameful deed, one would definitely be distracted for a brief moment, and Hu Yuhao was no exception. Though he hadn't seen them with his eyes, the three-dimensional image he'd seen in his mind wasn't too far off from the real things. Just as he blurted out the words, I didn't see anything, Wu Feng's kick arrived in his face. Dodging Wu Feng's kick was impossible. Thus, Hui Yu Hao could only helplessly block Wu Feng's attack with the mysterious jade hands. Wu Feng was extremely strong, and she'd even used her soul power to strengthen her attack. Wu Feng's kick resembled an enormous, burning piece of iron as it viciously slammed into Hui Yu Hao, who was forced to the ground from the force. Hui Yu Hao wasn't scalded from Wu Feng's attack due to the protection of the mysterious jade hands. However, her kick had simply been too powerful he wasn't able to withstand it by merely relying on the strength of his arms. As the back of his arms smashed into his face, Hui Yu Hao felt his mind go faint, while his nose began bleeding intensely. Wu Feng had finally managed to protect her skirt from being torn off after she kicked Hui Yu Hao away, and could feel herself getting madder and madder as the fight went on. Hui Yu Hao, you son of a bitch! The intense red light surrounding Wu Feng's body instantly turned dark red as she activated her second soul skill, Dragon Fire. Her entire body now resembled a genuine red dragon as she pounced towards Hui Yu Hao, it seemed like she wouldn't be able to rest without killing him. In that instant, Hui Yu Hao finally opened his eyes. Just as Wang Yan was about to save Hui Yu Hao from Wu Feng's attack, he couldn't help but pause his footsteps. Even with the scarlet flame surrounding Wu Feng, the trace of gold within Hui Yu Hao's eyes couldn't be concealed. In her enraged state, Wu Feng had forgotten to defend herself against Hui Yu Hao's true attack. Wu Feng felt as if her brain had been gently pricked by a needle, which instantly caused her to become dazed for a moment. Following that, the dark red light on her body dimmed slightly. She subconsciously buried her head within her hands because of the pain caused by Hui Yu Hao's spiritual shock. Taking advantage of the opportunity, Hui Yu Hao jumped into the air and shot towards Wu Feng. He grabbed onto Wu Feng's clothes with his hands in an attempt to throw her to the ground. However, even though Hui Yu Hao's calculating abilities were extremely precise, there were still times when even he made a mistake. He'd underestimated the strength of Wu Feng's dragon fury, and neglected the injury that his arm had suffered from Wu Feng's kick. He managed to grab a hold of Wu Feng's clothes, but he was immediately engulfed by a boiling stream of hot air afterwards. The intense waves of heat struck him in the face and made it seem like he'd touched the sun itself. His sleeves instantly turned to ash, and he subconsciously loosened his grip right as he was about to pull his arms back due to the extreme pain that had suddenly spread from his hands. Even though Wu Feng had been struck by Hu Yu Hao's spiritual shock, she still had her basic combat instincts. While she was still struggling subconsciously, she slammed her right arm into Hu Yu Hao's chest and forcefully flung him away. Wu Feng's blow was simply too heavy. Though his bones didn't shatter due to the soul power protecting his body, Wu Feng's blazing fire energy still madly surged into his body. As he flew through the air, he couldn't help but cough up a mouthful of blood. When he finally landed on the ground, everything in front of his eyes turned dark and he nearly fainted. At the same time, Wu Feng kneeled on the ground with her head buried in her arms and let out painful groans. Having stored up so much energy, Hu Yu Hao's spiritual shock wasn't something that could be easily endured. There were traces of blood flowing from Wu Feng's nose, but she was still in slightly better condition than Hui Yu Hao. It's finally ended. Wang Yan sighed inwardly. Though Hui Yu Hao had lost, it could be considered a glorious defeat. For him to be able to injure Wu Feng in a close combat fight, with his current cultivation, was already something he could be proud of. After all, he was a soul master that specialized in the control and auxiliary systems. Wang Yan had never expected him to be so skilled in close combat fight. However, was it truly over? Still hugging her head, Wu Feng slowly stood up. However, she wasn't able to stabilize her footing due to the intense pain coming from her head. Humiliation, this was an enormous humiliation. After alleviating the intense headache she had with much difficulty, Wu Feng discovered that Wang Yan was standing between the two of them. She knew that she wouldn't be able to make a move against Hui Yu Hao for the time being, but the anger in her heart caused her to hysterically yell out, Hui Yu Hao, you just wait. As long as you stay within class 1, I'll keep targeting you till the day you screw off from Shrek Academy. As everyone gazed on, 
Hui Yu Hao began to crawl back up with great difficulty. To the astonishment of the onlooking students, a slight hint of red had appeared in Hui Yu Hao's eyes the instant he raised his head. He gazed coldly at the nearby Wu Feng, making it seem as if he were a bloodthirsty tiger that was about to devour its prey. The hysterical Wu Feng felt as if she'd suddenly been stung by a poisonous scorpion, and a chill ran up her spine. I haven't lost yet. Hui Yu Hao's voice was somewhat hoarse, but it was filled with decisiveness. Right, he hadn't lost yet. As long as he had a trace of energy left in him, Hui Yu Hao would never admit defeat. With obstinance and perseverance in his heart supporting him, both the suffering his body had experienced and the humiliation he'd suffered from her insults instantly caused the resentment he'd suppressed for so many years to erupt like a geyser. At that exact moment, his body suddenly trembled. Immediately afterwards, the pale red in his eyes once again changed color, becoming a terrifying gray filled with the aura of death. Surprisingly, Hui Yu Hao had actually stood up. Furthermore, he'd used a hoarse yet determined voice to express his wish to continue fighting. The students who'd originally thought the battle to be over immediately quieted back down and stared at Hui Yu Hao with stupefied gazes. They were unable to fathom what could be helping him stand back up since he'd been struck by Wu Feng's powerful attack. Was the position of class monitor this important to Hui Yu Hao? To Hui Yu Hao, whether or not he became a class monitor didn't really matter. However, his honor was something extremely important to him, he couldn't allow anyone to tarnish it. This was the reason he'd accepted Wu Feng's challenge in the first place even though he knew he'd probably lose. It was also the same reason he was standing back up now. Wu Feng's hysteria immediately diminished the second that she saw the red glow in Hui Yu Hao's eyes. However, the instant that Hui Yu Hao's eyes turned gray, she felt as if an enormous hand had grasped hold of her neck and was strangling her. This was the first time that Wu Feng had felt dread from Hui Yu Hao. Regardless of how strong she actually was, she was still a young girl no older than 12. Wang Yan was also dumbfounded by Hui Yu Hao's current appearance. He hurriedly took a few steps back, while his heartbeat began to accelerate uncontrollably. The only explanation he could come up with for Hui Yu Hao's sudden change was a reason related to body souls. Thus, instead of interrupting their soul duel, he fixated his eyes on Hui Yu Hao's body whilst doing his best to sense the changes occurring within it. Hui Yu Hao had truly transformed in some way. As his head eyes turned bloodshot, his heart filled with an unyielding will to fight and resentment surging throughout his body, a refreshing feeling had suddenly spread silently throughout his spiritual sea. This refreshing feeling instantly covered the entirety of his spiritual sea, causing even the Skydream Mice Worm to let out a bewildered cry. Gray, Hui Yu Hao's spiritual sea instantly turned gray. However, the dormant gray pearl that had always silently resided in his spiritual sea had vanished. The refreshing feeling quietly calmed down Hui Yu Hao's surging resentment and allowed Hui Yu Hao to quickly regain his senses. However, his eyes had turned gray due to the changes in his spiritual sea. Hatred will cloud your eyes. A wise yet clear voice rang out in Hui Yu Hao's spiritual sea. When it did, even the Skydream Ice Worm was able to clearly hear it. Ten balls of golden light simultaneously lit up in an attempt to expel the gray stream of light that had appeared, but it didn't react at all. It was as if it was incorporeal. No matter how strong the Skydream Ice Worm's origin power was, it didn't seem to affect the gray light, it hadn't even been scratched. You should use your spiritual power like this. Hui Yu Hao discovered that he'd lost all control of his body, but he could still clearly see everything that happened. Immediately afterwards, he felt his soul power boil. The mysterious heaven technique soul power identical to his in terms of power, quantity, and intensity had also had its control wrested from him. Afterwards, his gray spirit eyes lit up as his spiritual shock was activated again. To his astonishment, this spiritual shock moved slower than normal as it left his eyes as if it was a viper slowly extending its tongue. At the same time, the original ball-like spiritual shock had been shrunken down to the width of a strand of hair as it gently flew towards Wu Feng. In the eyes of the spectating students, Hui Yu Hao's eyes had suddenly lit up and turned crystal clear, rather than the muddy gray they'd been before. The gray light in his eyes had flickered slightly, after which Wu Feng had let out a sharp cry. Wu Feng had gathered her soul power around her brain the second the feeling of dread had appeared in her heart. However, at this moment, she suddenly sensed a gray needle slowly arrive in front of her. It pierced through the layer of soul power she'd created, then gently tapped her brain. Wu Feng's flowing red hair flew into the air as her eyes turned gray as well. Immediately afterwards, she fell backwards with a sharp cry and directly lost consciousness. The battle had ended, 
but the students of class 1 had fallen completely silent, as if their necks had been strangled just like Wu Feng's earlier. Hui Yuhao's body shook slightly, and the hint of gray in his eyes slowly faded away. However, he continued to stand as straight as a ramrod. After sweeping his already normal eyes across the spectating students, he slowly left the arena without sparing a glance towards Wu Feng. Wang Yan hurriedly walked towards Wu Feng and made sure that she hadn't suffered any true injuries. However, he still decided to carry her to the infirmary. Whilst running towards the infirmary, Wang Yan felt a passionate fire ignite in his heart. Right, that was definitely the second awakening of a body soul. It must have been. Otherwise, why would his eyes suddenly change color? Why else would he be able to beat Wu Feng? Hu Yu Hao won, he won. This won't do, I have to find Elder Xian and have him select Hu Yu Hao as a core disciple. As Hu Yu Hao was quickly approaching the resting room, Wang Dong and Xiao Xiao had just left the arena, allowing them to bump into the grave-faced Hu Yu Hao. Yu Hao, you're awesome! Xiao Xiao excitedly cried out. However, Wang Dong walked towards Hu Yu Hao after realizing that something was off. Hu Yu Hao looked deeply at Wang Dong. Afterwards, he directly collapsed onto Wang Dong's body, passed out. Moreover, his breath was scorching hot. In reality, Hu Yu Hao's injuries were even more serious than Wu Feng's. Wu Feng's dual soul skill augmented attack had seriously injured him. However, he'd forced himself to stand upright in front of all the other students. With deep breaths as he persevered, he'd carried himself all the way to the resting room. Wang Dong secured him tightly to his back with Xiao Zhao's help, then rushed outside with only one thought on his mind, Yu Hao didn't want anyone else to see him like this, so I have to fulfill his wish. He ran towards the dorms with quick strides. Only after Wang Dong had left did Xiao Xiao react. She hurriedly chased after Wang Dong, stopping only after they'd reached the dormitory area. Hu Yu Hao's physical body had fainted, but his consciousness had been dragged back into his spiritual sea. Moreover, he was exceptionally clear-headed. Old fella, just who are you? Why do you want to fight over territory with me? The Skydree Mice Worm grumbled. The gray light didn't withdraw, nor did it encroach upon the Skydree Mice Worm. This old man, fight with you over territory? Who do you think you are? You're just a fleshy worm. If it weren't for the fact that I currently only have a trace of my divine sense left, I'd turn you into fertilizer in mere moments. The aged voice wasn't willing to submit. The Skydree Mice Worm spat, Bullshit. If you think you're strong enough, come on. Let's see who'll get rid of who. Don't think that this brother can't see that you only have a strand of divine sense left. You don't even have any power left. Do you really think that you can beat me in a fight by yourself? The aged voice replied disdainfully, You're right, this old man only has a strand of divine sense left. However, this old man's divine sense is on a much, much higher level than yours. Can you even do anything to me? Even though my divine sense has been shattered, you can't even take on this single strand of it. Think about it, if I were to gradually recover strength and memories, what would happen then? I'd crush your fleshy body, then slowly squeeze you until all of your juice had squirted out. You, the Skydree Mice Worm evidently couldn't beat the old man in a war of words. He was infuriated to the point that all ten golden balls of light had unceasingly begun to surge with light. This, what happened? Hui Yu Hao was flabbergasted. Why had his spiritual sea become so lively in this short period of time? The aged voice spoke to him in a much warmer tone, Little fella, this old man didn't belong to your world in the beginning. I only remember that, when I was about to die, I broke through the barriers of space and entered your world with only a strand of my divine sense remaining. I don't know why that happened, but it might have been because of my overly strong soul power. When that large worm fused with you, it created intense undulations of energy that guided me towards you. Thus, my strand of divine sense entered your spiritual sea. Don't worry, I don't harbor any evil intentions. However, I'm afraid that I won't be able to leave you, even in the future. I've only been left with this single strand of divine sense, so I'm extremely weak. I need time to slowly recover all of my memories, but the resentment that appeared in your heart earlier gave me a familiar feeling that finally woke me up. I don't remember what happened in my past, but I can definitely tell you that you shouldn't let hatred cloud your eyes. Once you do something unredeemable, you'll regret it till the day you die. Furthermore, you won't be able to do anything to make up for it. Something similar seems to have happened to me in the past. Fortunately, you're still young, and you're not too strong yet. There's still time for you to gradually dispel the hatred in your heart. Hui Yu Hao's voice changed. You're saying that I shouldn't get my revenge? The aged voice replied indifferently, 
that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you shouldn't take out your anger on people who don't deserve it. You can still get your revenge, but don't harm the innocent. For example, let's say that the chief of a village harms you. Would you slaughter the entire village if you were strong enough? Did those innocent villagers commit any sin? Unhappy, the Skydry mice worm cried out angrily, Oi, you house my host. He doesn't need you to teach him anything. Do you think that this brother is just heir? The aged voice replied in an extremely disdainful tone, You're naturally not heir, you're just a little bug. This old man's too lazy to bother with you, I'm going to continue restoring my divine sense. After saying this, his attention shifted back towards Wei Yu Hao. I scan through your memories. You have too much hate built up in you. You can do as you wish and vent your hatred, but you can't let this hatred ferment. Once I've recovered enough of my divine sense, I'll do my best to help you out. Let me see what I can remember. Oh, other than a few blurry bits and pieces, it seems that I can only remember a single phrase, my hand grasps the sun and moon and plucks the stars from the sky, this world has no one else like me. Ha ha, ha 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 ha.